Alright, welcome back to my Let's Play of Chasm, here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. I'm going to proceed right back into the, the mine. And we are going to return to, I think it's the castle. The new area we just unlocked. Yep, oh, the keep. The keep. Now let's see, where, yes, down here. We've just unlocked one gate. But, you know, that's good. Yeah. Hmm. This bone whip might not be strong enough for this area. Or I can just get better. <laughs> Let's kill a couple more of these. Haha. -ha. Again, I say kill, but you know. They're already dead, so I don't know what we're doing. Whipping ghosts? Ow. I don't know what good whipping a ghost does. I didn't learn. <laughs> Alright. I was thinking about it. I wonder how many drops I'm going to actually get this. This go around. Oh, ghost worker. Pretty much what I thought it would be. Because you don't, we don't have a very high luck score. Well, luck is nine. We can always raise it, I suppose. I don't know. That I'm going to worry about trying to get. Like sometimes when I play games like this, I try to you know get all the drops in the <laughs> in the game so that they'll show up in the little bestiary. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. It's kind of boring after a while. And truth be told, you don't really need to, as you probably know. All right, well, this here is the keep. Oh, what a portrait of Queen Trell, who I don't know if that's her lifespan. 360, 350, 365 to 396. What's that's only 31 years? Is that her lifespan or is that her her when she was queen, like her reign? 31 years as queen, that's a good run, I suppose. 31 years of life is not so much. Ah. Oh, Ankara. I have loyally served King Trill ever since he was a child, but I must face the fact that he is no longer the man I once knew. I came here with his caravan in the hope I could reverse the madness that had overtaken him. But I fear he is already beyond redemption. Why did the king choose to rebuild his castle here? It must be connected to the cursed catacombs that lie beneath us. The answers I seek must be hidden somewhere in the li labyrinthine tunnels that which snake through these ruins, these mountains. <laughs> I pray for the watchers to illuminate my path in these dark times. All right, well, we're gonna find more of his messages. Three more, it looks like. And there, we got the shin guards, which allow us to slide. So that'll let us go to a lot of areas that we couldn't go previously, like right here. If we got here, we can see, oh wow, we're really out there in the mountains. But um, we can't do anything here yet. So, for now, let's go back up here. So yeah, we can't get up there. Or there. But we can go back this way. And yeah, that's right. I feel sorry for the ghost workers that probably have to rehang all these chandeliers after we smash them. <laughs> Ooh, leather belt. 
Do we have this already? I think we do. Yes, we. No, wait. Leather belt. Yes, we do. Good back support. It's important, you know? And there's a new level. Now, this will let us go to access some places in the earlier levels that we couldn't go to before. Such as in the upper left hand corner here and another place on the on the right side. So fragile now. Oops. Still fragile. Yeah, the whip is kind of good. It can hit enemies above it. It has that little bit of a that arc, which is useful. And here, oh, here we go. And what do we have here? Ah, the forging hammer for the blacksmith. Uh, Dom, I think his name is. Yeah, Dom. And not Dom de Louise. <laughs> Let's see. Go back this way. Into the little warp room. There were some crashes or havoc in the background there. I don't know what that's all about. Alright. And then let's go over here. Hmm. Actually, let's first save. Because I think this next part gets kind of dangerous. Because even though the mine is pretty easy, generally, there's a part that we're unlocking now that we can go to now. That is actually kind of tough. You want to be careful. I mean, what's this for, you know? Processing ore or smashing fools? <laughs> Answer's probably yes. Woohoo! Oh, snap. <laughs> I thought I misgaged that for a second. Uh-oh. That's another cobalt variant. Yeah, we'll come back. Oh no, oh no. Whee! Let us equip our magic molotovs, watch. Ah, got venison. So, that's another one of those. Um, you can use venison as a healing item. It works. Just like any other... Any of the other ones, but... The thing with venison is... One of the characters we have not yet... Rescued... Will want you to find some. Oops. Oh, my bad. <laughs> That was really stupid. 
Yay! I'm gonna go this way first. <laughs> we'll deal with that when we come back. Oh, more. Venison, that's nice. I think you need like three or four of them. Haha. -ha. What is over here? Treasure chest. Warp scroll. Token. Yeah. A heart ring. Okay, I don't remember what this does. I let us see. What does a heart ring do? A simple ring. A simple silver ring with a red hearts inlaid. Okay, well let's see. Oh, if you look it really boosts your hit points up a fair bit. But twenty-five. Eh, not bad. I don't know, that might be good. I'm running away. <laughs> brave, brave Sir Robin. <laughs> Actually, let's fight these over here. Yeah, see this whip doing really nicely. It's starting to, I think, show its limits. Or I'm showing my limits, one of the two. Or both. They are not mutually exclusive. What do we get? Ah, hit point max up. Nice. Ah. Hee <laughs> hee. That was really dumb. <laughs> That's all right. That's not a really good, <laughs> good angle for that guy. Yeah, it was an experiment, and I did not do well at it. <laughs> Let's see, I don't remember what we find in here. We are looking for a fair number of things. Among which... Okay. See, it heals. A medallion-shaped cut of meat. It's pretty nice. Now we have a bag of flour, that's right. This is one of those typical... They try to stomp you flat while you have to keep on moving on the belt that's trying to push you backwards. Ah. The lantern. A tool used to illuminate dark places. Nice. So, there's a, a few places where this place thing is useful. One of them is here in the, the mine. If we remember from, I think, the second episode we found it. It's a little easier going the back this way. Although you still want to be careful. Don't want to get <laughs> flattened. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can't get that last piece of venison off of this guy. Ah! Or at least get this guy to up here in the... in the bestiary. I am not doing too well, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> it is not the most important thing in the world. I mean, you can use m money to buy potions, and potions really make this game a lot easier. Armor and cobalt. All right. <laughs> ah, that was dumb. Ah, darn it. I thought he was going to drop. 
some venison. Hey, yeah. Well, that's good, anyways. We know what those puff goos are. Oh yeah, right on. I think that's all we need from them, but I'm not sure. Oh, that's better. Let's do this right here. Ah. Nice. <laughs> My natural sound. Ah. Royal gloop. Huh. Nice. And a bat. Those bats' fangs look nasty. They probably are nasty. Probably never wash them. Nasty vampire bats with no no brushings of the teeth. Run, run, run. Oh, almost flat. Not quite. This kind of reminds me of that part in, was it? Attack of the Clones and that fat, that foundry or that robot factory where Anakin and, and Padme are trying not to get crushed and turn into, you know, molten scrap. All right, let's see. We need to go back up because there's a dark room on the other side of this, um, of the mines. I don't remember what's there, but we need we do need to go there. So we will. First things first. Say yes. <clears throat> I think it's right down here. Yep, see, right there. That opens this, and that gets us the bird hat. Oh, is that really all it is? Huh, well, that's that's underwhelming. Okay, so, the bird hat, right? You can put the little bird, the, you know, it goes over here. And what it does, it's kind of like, you know, it basically it's like a, it says a stylish hat featuring an orange feather. It's like a, like one of the familiars in, in Symphony of the Night. It's kind of cool, you know, that it will, if you wear that hat, it will, little bird will here. Here, I'll just put it on right quick so you can see. Oh, there he is. Hmm, where to go next? Any place we should go near now? No, we need to be able to jump higher or jump up a... I think the next place we need to go is probably... Is it in here? I'm not sure. Oh, it probably is. Or no, that could be the... All right, well, instead of boring everyone to death while I try to figure out where the heck I'm gonna go, let's return to town. Because we can go talk to the blacksmith. Dom, Dom, I found it. Well, stoke my furnace, you found it. Ever since I lost my hammer, I felt like a, like a scabbard without a sword. 
Oh wow, that's that's really bad. Now that I have it, I can craft new items for you. Just let me know which designs you're interested in. Ah, there he is. Now he'll be hammering away. And so we can let's see, it's good to see you again. Take a look at my inventory. You may see something you like. Just be careful. They're sharp. Do we have anything we want to sell? Nah. Yeah, let's sell this little bit. Now, crafting. It's pretty cool. You can get new items. Like I said, any th those those iron and silver that we've been collecting. We have ten iron, one silver, and that's gold. Mithril and I think meteorite, I believe. And you can, yeah, meteorite. Or platinum, platinum, not mithril, sorry. Uh, we can get different items of different powers. Let's see what this cutlass. A slashing sword used by sailors of the Silent Sea. Or the Pernach? 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 I don't know. Oh wow, an iron rod affixed with a tough flanged head. But let's actually uh, equip one of our, let's equip our sword and see what that compares. Ah, oh, that would be better than our, the sword we have. So let's get that. Cost us five of our iron bars. All right. And let's equip our war club. I think that would be parallel. I'm not sure actually. We'll just get anyways. It costs five. We have five more. Oops, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, we have 20 magic right now. So let's actually look at this cutlass. Nice fast sword. Cool. And let's look at the Paranach. Oh yeah. Now compared to the War Club. Okay, what does the War Club do? Okay, the War Club would boost our defense a little bit more. And our, our constitution by one, but I don't see what it's doing. Maybe that's the defense, I don't know. And by our luck by one, but I don't know. That is a considerable boost in our attack from 38 to 47 so I think I'm gonna sell the longsword and the war club all right cool and I'm going to go back to the tavern talk to Ash and buy I think two potions since I ceremoniously lost the others <laughs> or unceremoniously we still haven't found his cards ah close not close darn oh well Use them or lose them, I guess. All right, well, I guess I'm going to call it quits here for today. And um, I don't know, I don't know that I'm gonna use that that bird hat. I think I'd rather have the boost for my defense, but we'll see. If the more you use it, the, the more it gains levels. And there's another hat that you can find later on that's a little bit more powerful, but I don't know. That sort of headgear is not nearly as strong, actually, in its armor rating, but we'll see. And, all right, so thank you for joining me on this episode of my Let's Play of Chasm here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Take care, y'all.